Have you ever wanted to try track cycling? Have you ever been tempted? If you're thinking about it, you should definitely bite the bullet and do it. If you can ride a bike, you can ride the velodrome. Oh man, and I'm so excited to get on the track. It's been like forever since I've ridden the track. So I just, this is my bike, I'm gonna just jump straight out. Whoa, 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 Alex. There are a few things we need to run through before you can get out on the track. Calm down now. Right, come with me. So Manon, what are the first things I need to do to make sure my bike's safe to ride? So, track bikes are very different to road bikes, yeah. Alex. You've got one gear, you haven't got any brakes, and I always like to give my bike a good check over before I head out on the track, and make sure the wheels are in properly and they're tight, tightened up. Yeah. You want to make sure your chain tension is correct. You don't want your chain too loose, it's going to fall off, but then on the other hand, you don't want it too tight. So somewhere in the middle, and well done, that is perfect. So a little bit of movement. A little bit of movement. Okay, cool. Another thing you want to check is your tyre pressure. Now, you can run quite a high tyre pressure on the track if you're running tubeless. I've got around 180 tyre oh. pressure in my tyres today, so just give them a good pump up and make sure that they're at the right tyre pressure to your tyres. Now, I've actually seen people's cranks fall off on the track, so make sure everything is just generally done up tight and nothing is going to fall off. And if you are using a higher bike like Alex, you want to make sure that's set up correctly. So the saddle height in the right place, you've got your pedals on and the handlebars are in the right position for you. Should we get out on the track? Yes, let's go. <sighs> Alex, no! What? You were going the wrong way, Alex. Oh, sorry, I didn't know. Do you not know we have to ride counterclockwise? Oh, okay. A lot of people do ask, why do we ride counterclockwise? And the answer is, because the rules say so. There is no definite answer, but it's just always been done like that. But if you are the first rider on the track, make sure to go the right way, because if you go the wrong way and everybody follows you, you're probably gonna get told off by your track coach. But then if everybody goes the right way and you've gone the wrong way, not gonna Could end have a crash, well. can you? Yes, so Alex, what way do we go around? Left, always left turns. Exactly. It's basically like NASCAR, isn't it? Huh? Oh, it's like the cars, they race around, they only turn left, same principle with engines. Oh, so like velodrome for cars? Kind of. Um, should we do something? Yeah, let's go. Come on. Let's get oh. up on the track. Help, I can't slow down. I've got no brakes. When you're new to track cycling, don't try and pull the brakes because, well, there aren't any. And they don't have any brakes for good reason. You won't be able to lose momentum, nor will you be able to slam on your brakes and bring down all the riders behind you. So if you do want to come to a stop, that's all you have to do is slow down your pedaling and apply a little bit of backwards pressure, and that'll bring you to a nice stop. Oh, I finally managed to slow down. Oh, nice work, Alex. Um, there's a little bit of something cut with my bike. I'm just going to head over and fix that. All right, right? okay. Yeah, yeah. I'll... Yeah, I'll See come in in a minute. Yeah, thanks. Okay, cool. Oh. I'm at the track and the free wheel of my bike doesn't seem to be working correctly, which means the cranks have to continue turning with the pedals. So in this video, I'm going to explain how to get the free wheel of your track bike working correctly. Alex, did I just hear you correctly? Yeah, I'm just going to fix my bike up. It's not quite working right. Oh, Alex. A fixed wheel is a fundamental part to track cycling. What do I do if I want to stop pedaling? Just don't. You just have to keep on pedaling. If you try and free wheel, you will know about it because you will get a good kick from the bike. Your rear wheel will probably come up. You're probably going to crash and injure yourself. So do not do it. Everybody always asks, you know, any tips on riding the track? And I always say, just keep on pedaling. Do not stop pedaling, no matter what. Your life depends on it. Just don't stop pedaling when you're up on that track. Oh. So there's nothing wrong with my bike anyway? No, it works perfectly fine. Oh, you're, you're, just, you're just a roadie, aren't you? Just like on the road, crashes happen on the track too. It could be a touch of wheels, riders getting a little bit too close to each other, or even a rider stopping pedaling on the track. Crashes, they just happen. Ah, oh, man, I, I don't know what happened, I've crashed. Oh, that looks nasty. You all right, Alex? If you are in a situation where a rider has crashed in front of you, never go underneath it, as tempting as it might be. If riders crash on the velodrome, they will always end up at the bottom of the track, like Alex has done here, because of the very steep bankings. The safest place is to head up the track whilst everybody else is crashing down. But when you do head up, make sure you're not going to take anybody out to your side or behind you. So if you have got time, a quick look over your shoulder to make sure it's safe. But hopefully you're never going to be in this situation. I think I've hurt my pride more than anything. Yeah. 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 Right, get up, come on. Oh dear. 
So Manor, when I'm riding around at speed and I decide I want to come down and be nice and safe, how do I go about that? Well, Alex, what you don't want to do is just decide you're going to come off the track and then just bomb it down to the concrete bit at the bottom because that bit is quite slippy and the corners are quite sharp and you're probably not going to make it round without crashing. So you want to allow yourself at least two laps to slow down and come to a complete stop. Once you've decided that you're going to come off the track, you want to have a quick check around you, move down to between the red and the black line, do around a lap here. You want to slow down your pedaling, slow down the cadence and the power on the pedals and you slowly slow down and come to around 16 miles per hour. That's when then you can move on to the Cote de Jour, which is the light blue bit. You'll do it around a lap there and once you've slowed down you can then nicely just come off the track. So 16 mile an hour around here then I can yep. drop down drop onto down. this bit. So this is the Cote de Jour, this bit. Yep. Okay so then slow down a little bit further to what a good like a sort of brisk. Probably around five miles per hour. Yeah cool. You can just make, you, you'll know when this you This is can the make. safe place where I'm going slow. You're nice and safe, going nice and slowly, and then you'll be able to come off. Good, nice, thanks. Don't try and ride at the top of the track without enough speed. If you head straight up there without enough speed, you're probably going to slip down and end up at the bottom of the track. You want to make sure you build up your momentum and your speed so you're able to stay up there. Whilst road riders slow down for corners, us track riders, we speed up for the corners. Whoa. Alex is really getting the hang of this track stuff. He's kind of like world record pace, I'm sure of it. Enjoy that, Alex? Oh, that was mega, yeah, good. Good. So those are our top things not to do on a velodrome. I also have a little tip of my own for you. Oh yeah, go on. Always pay attention to the track instructor or coach. Good point, Alex. And if you did enjoy this video, then make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you are interested in giving track cycling a go, then head down to your local velodrome and see if you can get booked in on a beginner taster session. That's it from us, isn't it? That is it from us. Cool. See you later. See ya. <laughs> I'm not presenting Blue Peter.